the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya, the Most Reverend Jackson Alessapit, Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, the retiring Bishop of Mount Kenya West, Mzee Wetu, Joseph Kagunda, the House of Bishops, Viongozi wenzangu wa Kristo wetu wa hii diocese God is good and all the time Nisalimieni kwa hawa praise God praise God again Your Excellency our president let me speak not as your deputy today allow me but a son of this great county to tell you that we are very happy that you found time despite your very busy schedule, to come and honor a friend, a great man of God, a man who has given dedicated service to the Church of Christ for 45 years, and crowning it all another 20 years as the bishop of this diocese. Your Excellency, we are your students and we keep on learning. You have taught us the value of friendship, the importance to honor people who have walked with you through a journey. Your presence here is very humbling to us because it's a testament that you keep friends. Despite the high office that you occupy, despite your very heavy schedule, national and international commitments, you always have time to come and honor friends Na kwa hayo tunataka tuseme ya Sandy, tumpigie Raisi Makofi. Your Excellency, we are honored to attend this service with you. To honor a great man, a great bishop, a man of God, and a truthful bishop as well. Bishop Kagunda has been very instrumental in our leadership journey. All of us leaders here from Nyeri City are here. All these leaders here elected, they may not want to tell your excellency. None of them did not pay a visit to Bishop Kagunda, I included, for his blessings and affirmation. <laughs> so as a as kofu video men as you talk about Naona Nani, kwa baraka lakini to Tamungu Rusaidia. Bishop Kagunda has been a great mentor to us in leadership. And we always call upon him for advice, and he has been available. Bishop Kagoda, Your Excellency, led Christians in this great county to start with the truth and fairness. And he is among the few church leaders in this county who told the Christians the value of keeping your word the value of honoring your commitment and he did it every sunday and the christians listened to him we congratulate you for the fat 45 years of great service and as you proceed on retirement we wish you well we pray for you and we'll always be available if you need us to pale. Raisi huyu kiongozi wetu, tunataka tukupatie bure tu, hakuna kitu utauliza wewe. Umutafutie pahali hapo, kae kae hapo. Because despite retiring, his mind is very sharp. He came to see me last Saturday and I listened to him for two hours. And he's a man full of wisdom and he told me great words of advice. And I listened to him. And I think he has a contribution that he can make to this great republic, Your Excellency, and he can be useful in your leadership. Nikimalizia, Niseme, as Bishop Kagoda exits, the Archbishop, His Grace, has explained in a very clear manner the journey to transition. I want to plead with our Christians and the clergy. Please, let the transition from Bishop Kagonda to the new bishop be peaceful and non-confrontational. (laughs) 
as your son, please honor us. When we read the papers and we find men and women of God are in court of a leadership, we feel a little bit down. The legacy of Bishop Kagunda will be torn into pieces if the news we shall be reading is about a fight over who succeeds him. The Archbishop has explained the Constitution. It sounds very transparent and very easy. I want to appeal to those who have gone to court, please, now that the Archbishop is coming to start the journey for transition, go and withdraw those cases, allow the Archbishop to manage the transition, to give us a new Bishop, <laughs> to come and lead us. And you know when you are peaceful, you attract the president to come and support you. You attract me, you attract all of us. But if you are acrimonious, if there is conflict in this diocese, we tend to shy away. So wa Christo na muomba kwa heshima kama mtoto wenu. Musituaibishe. Tafadhali. Na, na muomba kwa unyenyekevu. Tukiona maneno yetu kwa maheadline, tunaona haya. Kwa sababu, the church should set an example to we political leaders of being peaceful in transition. Ito higu idha niyadwa ito? Da muda idha mutigato. Mutigato shonore. Mutigato shonore. Maudumash yotro na matimega. Eke ituwete kire. Tuwete kiri ya bishop oke. Aruga meriregi dhurano. Na agai. Ni ago tuhe bishopo. Okay, at the top, the toy with Anelia. Finally, Your Excellency Dione Malizia, Mimi Nataka Ni Semi Asante Kwako. For the firm decision that you have taken as President of the Republic of Kenya, that under your leadership, your government will not allow our children to be killed by drugs and illicit brews. The hallmark of good leadership is the courage to make hard decisions. This issue of illicit rules, many leaders have chosen to be shy about it because it's not easy. But our president, being a devout Christian, has made a conscious decision and asked me and Professor Kindiki and our other agencies to lead the war against drug and substance abuse Na rais Ivita na Andrea Mzuri, I know a few people are complaining. The ones who have been manufacturing and distilling poison, disguised as alcohol. Wamekua wakilalamika ya kwamba walifanya makosa, kuchagua rais na makamu wake ambaye watumi pombe. Lakini, on the flip side, 98% wanasema walifanya viema kuchagua rais na naibu ambaye watumii pombe na hii vita rais inafanya mzuri the women have told me men are coming home early ni horoma si wase wanafika mapema na wanafika wamekiwa na kilo ya nyama hapo mbeleni walikuwa nakuja wakiwa walevi hakuna nyama amenunua akipewa gedheri anauliza wapi nyama na hakuna nyama amenunua so and i can tell you your excellency the feedback we are getting, the people are happy with this war. Tuendelea ama tusiendelea? Tudhi na habere? I want to take this opportunity to ask the Anglican Church of Kenya to join the government in this war. Archbishop and your bishops, please, we cannot succeed without the church. We can only do so much. But there is so much other work to be done in terms of mentorship, in terms of counseling, so that our young people can see the need to stay sober and go to work. With those very many remarks, Nataka 